In this video, we're going to start to have a look at how we simplify algebraic fractions. And there is a rule that you need to remember, and the, this rule applies to any fraction, a numeric fraction or a um, algebraic fraction. And that is that you must make sure there is a single term, one term in the numerator, and one term in the denominator. Okay, so you must have a single term at the top and a single term at the bottom. And there are two ways that you can get fewer terms in an expression. And the one way is, is to, if you can add or subtract them. And remember that that will only work if you've got like terms. So a lot of the time when we're dealing with algebraic expressions, our terms are not always like terms, and it's therefore not possible to add or subtract. The other process that reduces the number of terms is the process of factorizing. So just a simple example, if you are factorizing x squared minus 9, that difference of two squares, it will factorize into x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 3. This expression here has got two terms in, but this expression here is actually just a single term. So factorizing is the way that we can make algebraic expressions have fewer terms. So if we just start off by considering a numeric example, something like 3 plus 6 over 9. I'd just like to give you some insight into why it is important for us to have that one term. What a lot of learners might do is to look at this and say, okay, I know that I can simplify the numerator with the denominator. So there might be some of you out there who are tempted to say, right, 3 goes into itself once, 3 goes into 9 three times. 3 goes into itself once, 3 goes into 6 twice. That leaves us with 1 plus 2, which is 3 over 1. Okay, now that doesn't really make any sense because if we go back to the original fraction, which was 3 plus 6 over 9, a different person might say, right, 3 plus 6 I can calculate, it's 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1. You can very clearly see that you are not getting the same value. And what you can conclude from that is that this method here is completely incorrect. You may not simplify when you have got two terms in the numerator. You can only simplify when you have one term in the numerator and one term in the denominator. Let's have a look at how this applies in algebra. Some examples. Right, so it is very tempting because these are variables in the numerator, x squared and x are not like terms. They cannot be added. And it is very tempting to just say, right, x divided by x is 1. But that is not correct. Why? Because there is two terms in the numerator. They are separated by a plus sign. And therefore, we need to factorize in order to get a single term. There is a common factor in the numerator of x. That will leave us with 2x plus 1 over x. And now that it is a single term, because we are multiplying, it is perfectly acceptable to now say x divided by x is 1, and 1 into 2x plus 1 just leaves you with 2x plus 1. In number 2, so the factorizing is a little more difficult because we have the difference of two squares in the numerator. x squared minus 9 factorizes into x plus 3 x minus 3. In the denominator, I'd like you to just pause the video here and think about that denominator a bit and see if you can find the factors. Right, we're looking for the factors of 2 and the factors of 15 that the outers and inners will give us positive 1. So it will be 2x and x and the 2x will have minus 5 and the x will be positive 3 because if you do the outers, 2x times positive 3 is positive 6x, negative 5 times x is negative 5x, and that gives you positive 1. You can now divide like factors by like factors. So the whole of x plus 3 can divide by x plus 3, and that gives us x minus 3 over 2x minus 5. Please pause the video and try these examples on your own. Number one, we have four terms in the numerator, so we need to group. If we group the 3x squared and the 12x, we have 3x that is common, and that leaves us with x minus 4. 
If we group 6x minus 24, we have 6 that is common, and that leaves us with x minus 4. x squared minus 16 is the difference of squares. It factors into x plus 4, x minus 4. We now have a common binomial to the two terms in the numerator, so we can take that out as a common factor. And now we can divide like factors by each other. So x minus 4 can divide by x minus 4, and our final answer, we are left with 3x plus 6 over x plus 4. In number 2, the numerator is the difference of two perfect cubes. So it will factorize into a binomial multiplied by a trinomial. The cube root of 27 is 3. The cube root of 8m cubed is 2m. The signs, remember, are same, opposite, and always positive. The first term of the trinomial is the 3 squared. The middle term is the product of those two, which will be 6m. And the negative 2m two, uh, two squared is positive 4m squared. At the bottom, this expression and this expression are exactly the same. You can actually reorganize this expression because everything is being added. We can now divide that whole trinomial by that whole trinomial. And our final answer is 3 subtract 2m.